Buttons. Welcome. This is Meditation, and I am Rebecca. And sorry, pressing all the buttons. There we go. And I'm so happy to have folks today for Meditation. This class is, uh, as you know, sponsored by Cancer Support Community. And uh, the class is for everyone. It's available to frontline workers, healthcare workers, anyone who has been touched by cancer and, and who knows someone who hasn't been. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that I teach a yoga class as well on Tuesdays at noon. And uh, it's a gentle yoga class and I invite you to um, either check my website, which I'll put in the chat, or check Cancer Support Communities um, listings and come and do some yoga as well. Here's my email. Okay. So take a comfortable seat. And for some of us, that means sitting up in a chair. For some of us, that means lying down on our backs or however you can feel comfortable. And sometimes in meditation, the instruction is not to move, but that is not the case with my class. You are always welcome to readjust and find a more comfortable position. And that said, what we do want to do is try to avoid all the little, you know, itches and twitches. So those things, see if you can breathe and stay present. If you're in uncomfortable or in any kind of pain, please readjust your position. So today we're going to talk about navigating the world with curiosity and beginner's mind. Part of mindfulness is developing our curiosity, putting aside our thoughts of the past and worries for the future, our preconceived notions, to welcome each experience, each breath anew. The breath is a miraculous opportunity to come back again and again to the grounding presence of now, greeting each new breath as a new moment, a new sensation with wonder and awe. So we'll begin with a sensory environment meditation. So if you're comfortable, allow your eyes to close or take a soft gaze. Begin to notice your sensory environment. What do you feel around you? Can you feel your feet on the ground, maybe your seat in a chair or your back on the floor? Becoming aware of those points of connection to the earth and the gentle hug of gravity holding us in place. With each breath, see if you can let go a little bit more <clears throat> I'd like to let go of the pollen. See if you can let go a little bit more into the softness beneath you. With each inhale, see if you can expand and broaden, lengthen your spine. Notice the temperature in your room. and any sounds that you hear beyond the sound of my voice. Notice the light filtering through your eyelids or eyelashes. And then begin to turn your attention more deeply inward to your own breath, that sensation of breath entering the body, exiting the body. Just notice where you feel the breath. Is it at the tip of your nose or the back of your throat? Or maybe in your belly, chest? Just becoming aware. We move energy through the body as the breath moves through us. 
allowing a gentle, steady stream of breath in and out. In and out. Begin to follow the breath from the point of entry. Notice where it goes. The moment when the inhale becomes an exhale, <coughs> excuse me, and following the breath as it exits the body. Begin to notice the crown of your head, softening the muscles of your face, your jaw, your neck and shoulders, arms and hands, the center of your body, your belly, let your hips be heavy, your legs heavy. Feeling gently connected. We'll take a few moments to just stay with sensation, following the breath, or if the breath is uncomfortable for you, just choose a sensation, a sound, a sight, something you can feel with your fingertips, and keep bringing your attention back to that sensation again and again. Begin to notice what's popping up. As you encounter a tenacious thought, emotion, or physical sensation, begin to describe it to yourself, where you feel it in the body, the way you would describe something to a sweet and curious child. If you are in pain today, please explore something gentle, neutral, safe. Become curious, letting go of the story about the sensation or thought. Just stay with what it feels like right now, in this moment in your body. As your mind wanders, just keep coming back. Notice if the sensation stays constant, intensifies, or recedes with attention. Keep coming back to each new breath, each new sensation with curiosity. We'll take 10 breaths or a count of 10.
And after your 10th breath, slowly come back into the space, noticing the ground beneath you. And if you'd like, gently blink your eyes open. Take a moment to notice what you see. We all have our stories to tell. We relish the telling. It makes us feel connected. Our lived experience is valuable. <coughs> it's informative. But it can also keep us stuck and closed down to new experiences, new ways of thinking and feeling. Buddhist nun Pema Chodron writes, there's a common misunderstanding among all human beings that the best way to live is to try to avoid pain. Logical. A much more interesting, adventurous, and possibly joyful approach to life is to begin to develop our curiosity. Whether the object of our inquisitiveness is bitter or sweet to lead a more passionate, full, and delightful life. We must realize that we can endure a lot of pain and pleasure for the sake of finding out who we are and how our world ticks. So we'll go back into a meditation Take a moment to notice if you'd like to change your position, make any adjustments in your space. Are you warm enough? Are you cool enough? And then find your meditation space. Once again, feeling your feet, your back, your bottom on the ground, wherever you are. feeling connected to the earth, feeling connected to the space around you, and then begin to bring your attention to your own breath. Notice the breath moving through you, breathing between earth and sky. As you inhale, feel the breath help you to elongate your spine, maybe sitting taller in your seat. As you exhale, settle, feeling more grounded and connected to the earth. The breath moves energy through your body, inhaling up reaching towards the sky, exhaling down, settling, connecting. Stay with your breath. as thoughts or emotions intrude, just acknowledge them and return to the breath. <coughs> so sorry, return to the sensation of breath moving through your body. Settling with each exhale, expanding with each inhale.
begin to imagine the breath as a clear, pure light. Does it have a color, a texture? Does it feel cool or warm? Notice the qualities of this light. As your mind wanders, draw your attention back to your breath. With each breath in, feel yourself filled with this light. With each breath out, watch the light spill out into the world. Notice that even as you breathe out, you remain filled with light. Stay with this imagery and we'll move into a period of silence.
Fulfilled is a person who lives in awe, who deeply desires connection. For them, lights shine in darkness, lights of grace, compassion, and justice. Begin to deepen your breath, bringing small movements into fingers and toes. When you feel ready, bring your palms together in front of you and begin to rub, creating some friction, some heat. And when your hands feel really warm, bring them up to cup your eyes, feeling the heat penetrate. Slowly blink your eyes open and release hands down. I wanted to give us an opportunity to ask a few questions or give some feedback, but first let's seal our practice with one chant of Om for the community we create when we practice together. If you'd like to join bringing hands to heart center, we'll inhale together. Oh. Om Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and with each other.